Bienvenidos al programa de la Patagonia Sur Sur, segunda semana consecutiva desde Tierra del Fuego, desde Estancia y Cabaña Los Flamencos. Esta estancia que hace muchos años está trabajando en el desarrollo de la búsqueda de más producción de carne sin perder la producción de lana que ya tenían. Eso lo llevó a elegir una nueva raza, la raza Dunimerino. Lo que estuvimos viendo la semana pasada y esta semana vamos a continuar es toda esa transición, cómo se llegó al día de hoy que ya tienen embriones que tuvieron que traer de Sudáfrica y nosotros estuvimos el día que llegaron, que estaban recorriendo la estancia un grupo de sudafricanos que en ese grupo estaban técnicos, veterinarios y, y dueños de las estancias en Sudáfrica donde fueron elegidos los animales. En este programa vamos a ir escuchando la palabra de los técnicos sudafricanos, del técnico que está a cargo de todo este proyecto de la raza Duni Merino que es Daniel Groves y seguimos escuchando la palabra del administrador Ivonne Robert de Tierra del Fuego de lo que es este proceso de llevar adelante la raza Duni Merino. Vimaleu SRL, fábrica de alimentos balanceados, todo fabricado en la Patagonia. Atención y acompañamiento al productor, garantía en calidad. Vimaleu SRL, alimentos balanceados fabricados en la Patagonia. Excelencia y liderazgo en la raza merino. Estancia y cabaña los manantiales. La más ganadora en lo que va del siglo XXI. Pico de Salamanca, Chubut, Patagonia, Argentina. Sí, un poco es una devolución de atención y nosotros cuando fuimos, fuimos primero que nada eh, a un lugar que no conocíamos, no sabíamos con qué nos íbamos a encontrar. Felizmente nos encontramos con, con buena gente que nos ayudó mucho y eh, en todo sentido y, y entonces eh, esto de hoy por ahí es una devolución de atenciones porque la verdad que eh, de la manera que, o sea hicieron exactamente lo mismo que tratamos de hacernos dentro de no, nuestras limitaciones nosotros llevarlos por Patagonia que, que conozcan lo que hay de Duni porque en Santa Cruz y en el lado chileno también hay mucho Duni entonces que hicieran una recorrida general y, y, y que vieran y que conocieran que, que para ellos por ahí a lo mejor lo más llamativo de todo esto es eh, la prueba está en la rusticidad de la raza porque ellos no tienen este clima no tienen estas condiciones algunas similares pero eh, lo más frío que tendrían o lo más duro que tendrían sería el otoño nuestro y entonces estamos hablando de, de de, son, son condiciones que tiene la raza, no, no, so, a ellos solamente les certifica eso, que, que, que pueda haber Duni en estas latitudes, para ellos es importante. Hi guys, uh, I'm Dries Pinar from the White Wolves Duni Marino Stud. Uh, we're based in Multino, it's a small town in the Eastern Cape in South Africa. Um, stud use, we run about 660 stud use. Uh, we have an annual production sale, which is normally earlier in the year, January, February. Um, the commercial side of things, we run about two and a half thousand commercial ewes as well. And then we do a little bit of cattle. We've got about 250 cows that uh, we also run. Um, the total hectares of the farm I farm is about 9,000 hectares. And it's been a farm that's in, been in the family for around 25 years. So I've been following this embryo program of Vicus's at Los Flamencos from the beginning uh, since I've heard of it. And I've always looked for a possibility for uh, export of genetics. Um, I think there's a huge market. And I mentioned to him a couple of years ago or after the program that if uh, there's ever a possibility to get me involved, I would love to be involved. So when he contacted me that Sunday evening, I said, yes, no, I have to go. Well, I think it, it can make this economy tick 
Um, we've been to shearing sheds where, uh, because of different reasons, people can't shear wool. I think if we introduce Duni to these, to these areas, we can get export going from Patagonia in terms of wool. We've, we'll, we can reduce our wool clips to, to 21 microns and um, it'll, it'll start what we call it in 1960 in South Africa or worldwide, there was a wool boom. I think what we can do in this Patagonian sides without losing the meat trades, we can create a new wool boom for, for, this, uh, for this area. Uh, as I've traveled through Patagonia, I can see a lot of similarities to South Africa, uh, where the Duni was developed in harsh areas uh, with cold and with, with uh, the land you have and the grass and, and so on. So there's a lot of similarities to, between why the Duni was developed and the area of Patagonia. So I think there's a, there's a massive, massive, massive opportunity for our breed from South Africa to create an export market for ourselves so doing creating a new market for you guys i think uh, i really think there's 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 it's about this small now and it can be this big i think so i think it it, it can be the starting point from where the original south african duni not exported to australia original south african sheep best in the world best ever because it was developed there it can basically be the start of a fire that just takes over the whole of Patagonia. And, and what was so good to see today was there was Los Flamingos Rams with the South African Rams. And they also made it through to double A. So, so, the, so the genetic package that's already here is already on a very good pace. And we can just improve on that and it can steamroll and, and become like a huge force. Because in the end of the day, why do we farm with stud animals? We farm with stud animals because we basically want the rams for ourselves or we want genetics for ourselves. But in the long run, you want people in, in the whole of Patagonia to commercially farm with, with dunies. And where do they get that? They get that from studs. So if we have a farm like, like uh, Los Flamencos and they can have a big stud of a thousand ewes and they produce 500 rams a year, we can supply to the commercial farmer. The guy who can't necessarily or doesn't have the connections to import from a South Africa or from Australia. You can supply that guy with the best genetic package in the world. And that's, that's, that's basically what Los Flamencos can be. It can start from here and just expand through the whole of Patagonia. I would just say it's a, it's a, it's a lovely place. Like, I can see myself living here. It's very similar to home. We've got the same beauty, but we've got the same problems. So as long as we have the same problems, it's fine. I can live here. But uh, I've enjoyed every second of it. Every day was a highlight. And I will come back just like this. Hook, sistema de pesaje para la ganadería, la industria y el petróleo. Hook, tu producción vale lo que pesa. Patagonia arroba balanzashook.com.ar en el próximo bloque vamos a continuar desde Tierra del Fuego, de distancia, los flamencos, que estamos viendo lo que es el Duni Merino.